this is going to be a little different to the majority of our videos, but hey, this is Transport Evolved Take 2 where you get to see behind the scenes sometimes. Although you can't see behind the scenes right now. We've been asked a lot about why we didn't go to CES, why we're still restricting our event coverage, why Nikki and Michael wore masks when they went to see the Silverado. In general, a lot of questions about why we're still treating things like they're not all back to normal and like everything is lovely. And it all boils down to two things, science and that we care about the folks we work with. Winter, Nikki, Erin, Michael and I, we work together, but as a small team and a small business, we're friends. We don't want each other to get sick. And frankly, we don't want to get others sick. Vaccination and then masking are proven to be the best protection we have from this preventable disease. It is almost the bare minimum that we can do to protect those we care about and those we just happen to meet in the shops. You don't know who around you has a pre-existing condition, who couldn't get a vaccine, and so who you're putting at risk by potentially carrying a disease into that space. Wearing masks protects them and you. Oh, and when I say wearing masks, I mean wearing masks not carrying one around like some kind of bloody talisman, not hanging a mask halfway off your chin, wearing a well-fitting, decent quality mask that covers your mouth and nose. And if you're thinking, oh, but everyone says it's mild now, that really depends on your standpoint. As a healthcare professional, not being hospitalized is what means it's mild. That doesn't mean that it's like a cold, a day or two in bed and you're up and fine. It can still mean the sickest and most miserable you have ever been in your life. Sure, there are plenty of folks who have an asymptomatic infection, but I have not great news there too. There is mounting evidence that there are long-term consequences for a significant number of people following an infection, symptomatic or not. Somewhere between 1 in 10 and 1 in 3 people, see the link below to the study by Lambert et al, have long-term effects. Those effects can vary widely, but they can be permanently disabling. There's newer evidence that infection results in an autoimmune-like, that is, your body is attacking itself, response. For an example of what that might mean, think about arthritis, some forms of which are a common autoimmune condition long-term joint pain and reduced mobility, that kind of thing. Then there's also evidence that it can result in a long-term brain injury. Wearing my other hat in my other job, I see people fairly frequently who complain of a quote, brain fog following an otherwise normal recovery that's persisted for months after they've seemingly recovered. This isn't just a respiratory disease, it's a whole body disease and none of this has gone away. And the response that we've seen from some public health departments feels like it's asking us to place profits ahead of people, which is something that as a small company and a group of people who care about things other than just making a quick buck, we're not willing to do. So yes, we will continue to go to events, but in a careful and thoughtful and mainly less frequent way, we're going to continue to wear masks. In fact, as a team, we just opted to change our guidance so that it calls for N95s or KN95s in indoor spaces. And we're going to continue to do our best to bring you the highest quality clean vehicle journalism you can get anywhere on the planet. Oh, and as a reminder, we do have a zero tolerance policy for misinformation or disinformation along with our zero tolerance policy for hate. Do any of that in our comments and you can expect to enter a dark void and stay there. I hope that clears it up for you. Incidentally, if you're looking for reliable information, I've so far found Caitlin Jetlina, known as your local epidemiologist, a really good resource. We've dropped a link to her substack in the notes below too. Thanks to everyone who supports the channel and there are links below if you'd like to support the channel as well. Till next time. Take care.